Hey everybody. Um, man, I've been trying to like make videos for about four months now. And it's just like so many things in my life. It's really difficult for me to take action that isn't at like a microscopic sedated snail's pace. Um, like it's just really hard for me to move in any measurable way. So I figured the best way for me to actually make a video would be to talk about something that I feel is really important and I actually like know a lot about firsthand experience. So I'm going to make a quick video about the sublocade shot um, as an alternative way to get off of suboxone strips. I was on the suboxone strips since April of 2019. So like five years and three months. And I really wanted to, uh, for years, I was really comfortable with being on Suboxone forever, you know, if that's the way it was going to work out. And it felt like it was going to work out um, that way. And I was fine with that. But then I just started to, first of all, get really concerned about the potential ramifications, if there were any with the with the strips on my teeth and gums and just like dental health I went through like 13 years of of IV drug addiction one year of homelessness like the whole nine yards and the most dental problems I've ever had have been some cavities that I've had to have filled I always took really good care of my teeth and I'll be like and I started thinking like son of a bitch I'm gonna go through all that and then have dental problems because of suboxone strips and all these like chemicals and who knows like long term 10 years even like the five years what um if there's gonna be any like ill effects oh my god my dog's going crazy in the passenger seat we're coming back from a walk so anyway I tried to um get to a place where I was ready to take to, to, to stop taking the strips and switch over to the supplicate injection. I was terrified. I'm terrified of change. And I was just so afraid that it wasn't going to work. I tried to wean myself down on my own from my suboxone strips. And I just can't do that. Some people, I've, I watched a lot of videos on YouTube. Some people can do that. And that's great. But that wasn't my experience at all. I just, I couldn't do it. I was prescribed to a day for five years. And by the end of the month, I would always have taken my two, the equivalent of two strips per day. I just couldn't cut down on my own, knowing that I had a legal prescription for the, the two full eight, you know, milligram strips or whatever. And so that wasn't going to work. And I just started to get like really almost like a spiritual uh, frenzy because it started to dawn on me that personally I was making, uh, you know, like a, a sacrifice or compromise, but it started to, I started to question if this compromise was a sacrifice because I had found this happy medium with Suboxone, but I knew I really didn't need Suboxone strips to maintain sobriety any more than I was going to do without the strips. My heart of hearts, I didn't need them like I used to, even in the first like one to two years. I couldn't say, yeah, I'm probably not going to like just go ham today and decide to, you know, track down some dope. So I was just taking them just to say I had something to take and I was okay with that for a long time. Oh God, I look creepy. I'm driving in the dark here. But anywho, um, I was okay with with that and until I wasn't, I started worrying about my dental health and I started worrying about like the soul ramifications of, of just kind of being like at this plateau, like always just having something to take. And maybe it's just me, but personally, when I am on um, Suboxone, I don't remember my dreams. And I just feel like that's kind of um, telling for me. I, I think dreams are more than just, you know, these like crazy thoughts you happen to have when you're asleep I think they mean something and the fact that I can't remember my dreams on strips didn't sit right with me and I just felt like for me to reach a certain level like a next level in my life I need to consciously be at a place to say okay I don't need to take something every day even if it is just that physical two strips a day I don't want to be dependent on putting a drug even though it's suboxone and suboxone is life-changing I don't want to be on 
that anymore. So in October of last year of 2023, I tried the injection. After four days, I um, started feeling these these withdrawals, symptoms like in my knees, in my joints that were so internal, I had forgotten like the depth of the withdrawal pains and I just started freaking out. It was a really stressful um, experience. And I told my doctor, she was shocked that like, I, she said it, it's literally physically impossible to have this knot of dope that is the Subutex inject into your belly. You can feel the knot, it is working, that is in your head. That is just like, you know, um, phantom pains or whatever, like placebo. I was like having placebo withdrawal effects. And I, I was honestly really offended at first because if something's a placebo or if it's real, I mean, there's reality that's actually happening because it's happening objectively. And then there's the reality that is happening because it's your perception of what is happening. But either way, both experiences of reality are real and they're both happening in your mind either way. So I was having these withdrawal effects that, that was a, a placebo but yet the, the pains were still very much there, like full blown stomach pains, joint pains, the whole nine yards. Um, and that made me hesitant to try the supplicate shot again. And I had to work up from October until August, um, hang on echo until August to, to, um, to actually like give it a shot. And I just got to a point where I just, I, I didn't know what to do. I tried to wean down. I tried it for like eight months, couldn't do it on my own. And I was really ready to um, make the mental switch. And that's what it is. The su supplicate shot works. It works wonderfully. You may have withdrawals if you're like me, because, uh, you know, addiction is such a mental, a mental disease. And my Achilles heel has been my mind. Um, so if you're like me, and, and, and that's how, how you are. I mean, if you're like prone to have your mind play tricks on you and flat out turn on you, sometimes w what works for me, because I mean, I, I'm three, I'm on my third shot in three months. I got it in August, September, and I just got my third shot, um, this October. And when I started to, um, think, oh my God, is it working? I need to take a strip. I, consciously made a shift in my perception and my perspective of what was happening. And what worked for me was keeping in mind that the shot is like one of those cat um, water dispensers, like water bottles where it's like the gallon little like slender cylinder of water is filled up and then it just fills up like the little uh, basin in the bottom. That's what the supplicate is, is like, you know, you have that constant, um, that constant, you know, basin of water that is the sublocate, you know, suboxone medicine in your brain. It's, it's 24 seven. It's such an even keeled amount. There's, there's not these like highs and lows. So the actual, um, suboxone itself is, is completely taken care of. And so I just thought about that water basin and just like made the switch to sublocate. Okay. I have the medicine. My um, concerns are just on what I need to do my part, which is work on getting over the mental habit of having, um, of just having a strip to put in my mouth just to say, Oh, Hey, I have a strip I can, I can take now. Like having this medicine was just like, it was so um, mental for me just to say, okay, I have it. So, once you really just reiterate that you're good and then you can kind of like sit back and realize, man, I am good. It's been three months. I haven't, um, I, I quit Suboxone when I had a four year period of sobriety in the past. Hang on. I quit Suboxone cold Turkey for all the wrong reasons. It was so I could like flush the drugs, the Suboxone on my system and start doing quote unquote real dope again. And it was the worst withdrawal I ever had for, for a month. I with, I withdrew horribly. Um, so I knew I wasn't going to be cold turkey. I don't recommend that at all. And I couldn't wean down myself. And I just didn't want to be addicted to Suboxone anymore. Um, so the Sublocate is like a great alternative to really get, get that habit of having to like 
you know, have that crutch um, there, you know. And so I just recommend it highly. It is great. Y'all have a good night. This is like a crazy visual. Y'all take it easy.